Greetings guys, it is Stokraft. And after a month, you finally hear my voice again back on this channel. As I am finishing high school at the moment, I don't really have time to make that much content for you guys. But still, you guys stay around and that is something that I just really have to thank you guys for. We are still at 336 subscribers and I really have to give each and every one of you a huge shout out. That is awesome. With regards to school, today is my last school day ever. And that means we've pretty much got no lessons whatsoever. We're just going to have a lot of fun on our last day of school with everyone. We organized a barbecue and a load of other awesome events. And after this school day, the spring holiday season starts two weeks of holidays. But in those holidays, I'm going to have to study really hard. Because after the holidays, I will be starting my final exams. And if I pass my exams after the holiday season, I will graduate from high school. And if this is the case, then I'll have a very, very long summer holiday season waiting for me. Although I need to study a lot the upcoming two weeks, that doesn't mean that I won't be able to make content. As I made a very strict schedule for myself. During the day, I will be studying. And in the evening, I get to do whatever I want. So you guys can expect some streams here and there. So now that this is out of the way, let's quickly get in towards the video. Because I've got a replay for you in the tier 6 Swedish medium premium tank. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into this. So guys, here we go in the Stritzwagen M4257. We're assaulting on Corellia as we can see. And as you can see, I didn't start off this replay from the beginning. And that's because I was just driving. I did fire one clip, but it's not really worth mentioning that clip. As I uh, pretty much missed all of my shots. Uh, to try to hit the MT25 who already died on the enemy team. But it doesn't matter. We've got a whole new clip loaded as we can see. And I'm just peeking around here to see if I can spot any enemy tanks in the open. And we see a KV-1. And we fire at him at will. So, that's that of course wasn't the best angle to be able to penetrate a KV-1. Because as we know, this thing doesn't have the best penetration for a tier 6 tank. Let's quickly take a look. As we can see, it has 148mm of penetration and 150 alpha damage per shot. And what's so special about this tank is that it gets a 4 shell magazine as we can see. We just load a new one and that just enables us to be able to take down the Skivy 1. If we of course manage to penetrate 3 out of 4 shots which we don't. But luckily somebody on our team manages to take out the Skivy 1. So we're loading a new clip. It, it takes around 16 seconds with a good crew and uh, all, uh, all kinds of equipment to be able to reload this clip in around 16 seconds. And as we can see, we managed to track that guy there and just be able to put all the remaining shots of my clip into him. And that's just what you want. That's just the ideal situation for this tank. And that's really what you want to try to do. Try to track enemy tanks to uh, keep them in position and just try to put all your shots of your clip into them and that's just how this tank really works as you can see this clip reloads relatively fast so you can do a lot with just a small clip like this and if you think about it if each shell in the clip has got 150 alpha damage and you've got four shells in the magazine this clip has got a potential of 450 alpha damage which is pretty good that's a pretty high amount of damage and especially if you can keep uh, your enemy tracked uh, between the shots. You can also try to, yeah, you know, if you know what I mean, try to let them waste a repair kit or so. That's a thing that a lot of players like to do in their auto loaders. As we can see, uh, put a shot onto the Chinu, he gets unspotted out of a render range. Uh, but unfortunately, we probably didn't hit those shots, but I could always try, you know, if you know what I mean. But as we can see, we're advancing now, our team is in the lead. And I decide to not go into the dip yet. 
Because as we can see, there's a lot of enemy tanks back here. And I realize that this is not really going to be a good engagement for this tank. So I decide to drop down into the dip. I have to take a look though. If, uh, if I wanted to do this safely. Because if I wanted to, to go into the dip, I thought I was going to expose myself for a split second around that rock. And I didn't want that SU to hit me. Because as we know, that thing has got the Russian 122mm. Not really interested in getting hit by that thing back there. So we've got another clip loaded and now we went into the dip and advanced almost into the enemy base as we can see. And there's a lot of enemy tanks here. And there's a Hellcat. A Hellcat is just a really nice target for this tank. We managed to put one shot into him but nope he doesn't really want to show us more of his tank unfortunately. He would be a very juicy target though. But as we can see, we do get flanked by that SU right now. Luckily, I do keep a good look at my map at all times. And we see that happen. As we know, that SU has got 90mm of really well-angled frontal armor. But I'm shooting down on his upper plate. So I can easily manage to penetrate uh, yeah, his upper plate. Even in that angle. Because I'm shooting down at it. Which decreases the angle of, it, uh, of uh, attack, as we call it. Which decreases the uh, effective armor value of that upper plate of that SU. So now we load another clip. I'm trying the same tactic here. Exposing as little of my tank as possible. Also, as we can see, dodging between every shell I take. Which works out fine for me. As we can see. So now that SU is dead, luckily. And we're going to uh, yeah, try to take the enemy base here. As we can see, we am spotted. And this is just, yeah, just really bad timing, really. I peaked even before I was loaded, and that cost me a few hit points, as we can see. And I didn't even get to take a shot at uh, that Jackson. But luckily, I pre-aimed for the Hellcat, and just as I pre-aimed, he peaks. And it's very likely that the Jackson peaks now. He does as well, because we can see a blind fire coming in, but luckily it doesn't hit my tank. So that that's a good thing, right? So, there's only three enemy tanks left. And now I'm making a very big mistake as we can see. I've only got one AP shell left and I've loaded it in an entire clip. I see. I saw this of course when I loaded the, 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 the magazine far too late. But I realized okay if, I've, if I have a shot enough of course I'm going to take it. But as we can see uh, I realize that I don't really get to take a shot any uh, yeah, anytime soon. So I decide to now load the first clip of APCR because I'm out of AP. And we're going to see that... Only these two tanks are just going to run away into the corner of the map. But luckily we can... Yeah, luckily we just hope that we can put one more magazine into one of these tanks. Because that would just be very good. As we can see, we've got over 2k damage. A very good damage total for a tier 6 tank. Can we manage to do more than this? We'll see. No idea where that shot went. But anyways... We take down the last enemy tank. The IKV on the enemy team. And we take down the win for our team. So guys, before ending this video, I quickly have to say a few more things. Firstly, I really do enjoy this tier 6 Swedish auto-loading medium tank. Let me know what you think about this tank in the comments as well, because I really would like to know your opinions. This tank was gifted to me by Yogurt on my birthday, so a big thanks to him. And secondly, I hope you guys enjoy that I am back on the channel making videos for you. And lastly, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it some love if you did enjoy the video. Think about watching some of my other videos. But for now, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see each and every one of you in the next video. Bye guys.